Social media has a dirty little secret that no one talks about. The most prolific creators online aren't working 80 hours a week. They're not glued to their screens writing tweets at 2 a.m. And they're definitely not sacrificing their weekends, vacations, or family time to maintain their online presence. Here's what they're really doing. They're building systems that work for them even when they're not working. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I create an entire week's worth of high-quality Twitter content in just 60 minutes using Cortex AI capabilities. And this isn't about cutting corners or posting generic AI-generated content. It's about creating a sustainable system that multiplies your best ideas without burning you out in the process. And the best part is that you will maintain complete creative control while freeing up hours of your week for higher leverage activities, whether that's creating products, writing your newsletter, or simply living your life off screen. So let's begin. First, the creator's hamster wheel. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt like you're trapped on the content creation hamster wheel? You spend hours writing a newsletter or recording a podcast episode, pouring your expertise and insight into this piece of long-term content. But then you realize you still need to show up on Twitter every day with fringe insights if you want to grow your audience. So what happens? One of two things. Either you burn yourself out trying to maintain consistency across all platforms, or your Twitter feed becomes a ghost tone while you focus on your primary content. And both options are bad for your business and your mental health. And I know this dilemma intimately because I've been there. A few months ago, I was spending four to five hours every week just coming up with Twitter content. And if I took a vacation or focused intensely on a new product launch, my social presence would disappear completely. But here's what changed everything for me. I realized I was already creating valuable content in my newsletter and other long form formats. I just needed a system to extract and repurpose those ideas efficiently. That's when I discovered the power of using Cortex AI to transform my existing content into a week's worth of Twitter posts in under an hour. And the goal isn't to let AI replace your voice or generate generic content. It's about leveraging AI as a thought partner to help you extract your best ideas from your content formatted specifically for X. And the fundamental shift here is moving from a mindset of constant creation to one of strategic amplification. And before we dive into this step-by-step -step system, I want to address something important about using AI as a creator. There is a common misconception that using AI for any part of your creative process is somehow cheating or will make your content less authentic. But here's how I think about it. AI doesn't replace your creativity. It amplifies it. When you use AI strategically, you're not removing yourself from the equation. You're simply choosing where to invest your creative energy. Think about it this way. As, as, as solo creators, we used to have no choice. We had to do everything ourselves. Research, write, edit, publish, promote, and this across every platform. But now we have a choice, and that choice is powerful. You can choose to manually craft every tweet because you genuinely enjoy the process and want to sharpen that specific skill. Or you can choose to use AI to transform your newsletter insights into Twitter content, freeing you to invest your time and creative energy elsewhere. And that might mean learning new skills, developing products or services, spending time with family and friends, creating more in-depth long-form content, and even taking vacations without your online presence disappearing. It's like having a personal ghostwriter and content team, except this team intimately knows your work because it's trained on your content. And when you delegate tasks, whether to humans or AI, you're making a conscious choice about where your time and energy go. And that's not just okay, it's smart business. All right, so now let's break down the system I used to create a week's worth of Twitter content in under an hour. So this system has three key components. The first one is your source content. It is your existing intellectual property, like newsletters, articles, or video transcripts. The second part is templates. 
The goal is to use proven tweet structures that will drive engagement. And for this video, I will be using KDeep's templates from the Cortex Premium community. I will talk a bit more about that later. And third, it's the AI plus document referencing that Cortex allows us to do. And we're going to use cloud model inside Cortex to combine our source content with those effective templates. And the real magic happens when we bring all three elements together using Cortex document referencing capability. Instead of asking AI to generate random content, we're asking it to extract and reformat your best ideas from your existing content. And the key difference is that we are referencing specific documents from our workspace, including our source content and twin templates, which dramatically improve the quality and authenticity of the AI output. So let me walk you through exactly how this works in practice. So step one is to organize your source content. The first thing I do is I make sure my recent newsletter or articles are in my Cortex workplace. You can watch my video on how to organize your notes for maximum creativity and productivity if you want to learn more about how I organize my entire Cortex workspace. But these notes and past writing will serve as the raw material for our tweets. And for this demonstration, I will use some newsletter that I wrote this week. I'm currently doing a 30-day daily email challenge, so I have a lot of different material I can work with. The second step is to open Cortex chat with Claude. So now I will open a new chat in Cortex and select Claude as my model. Claude excels at writing and understanding nuance, making it perfect for crafting tweets that sounds like me. So let's begin. So first let's open a new chat. I will open the sidebar here and I will open a new chat in the pane here. And I will make sure Claude is the selected model. So now, stop free, reference your documents. And this is where the magic happens. Here, we're going to click the add context button and select my recent newsletter I want to use as a source, KDIP's Twitter template documents. And I really want you to follow this guy on X. It's at the KDIP. And I will also add a document with examples of my writing style. You can create a similar document to this by simply giving your previous tweets to AI and ask him to analyze your style and voice and create a complete document summarizing it. This way, every time you're going to write tweets, you can just reference this document and the AI will instantly know which guideline it should follow to replicate your writing style. So let's add the context for these tweets. So first, I'm going to add a recent newsletter. So I will just scroll through my archives that are here. And here I have all of my previous newsletter archive. So I'm going to take this one, the 31 psychological triggers from one of the copywriting gods, and I will just add context. So I will click there and I will start typing. And now I have it here. So now it, it has been added. Then we're going to add KD's Twitter template document. So I'm going to scroll past here and here, as you can see, I have put here all of the templates he created. He created twice a month, curated templates from the best creators, and it is only available for people who are in the Cortex Premium community in the Discord. So that's one of the few perks that you earn by ge getting a Cortex Premium account. And so I'm just going to add some. So I will add uh, the March templates, for example. So here, I'm going to add context as well. We are, we're going to add the March 2025 templates. I'm going to add both of them. So this way we have all of them and yeah. And the last part is to add a document with examples of my writing style. So if I go there, I will close this. I will close this as well. Here in the reference part, I have some document that I've created using AI when it analyzed my previous tweets. And I'm going to edit this document, AI prompt instructions, how to writing, uh, writing tweets as Noah Vincent. So, so let's add it, AI prompt. And now all the context has been added. So the next step is to craft the perfect prompt. So now I will paste in my pre-written prompt and here is what I use. So I will just select it and copy it and paste it here. And then I will just click enter. Now the AI is processing it and it has 
all of the previous document that I've referenced here, so my newsletter, KDIP's content template, and the AI prompt instruction. So no, let's just wait. And as you can see, just like that, in a few seconds, I've generated seven tweets using proven Twitter templates, using the content from my newsletter. And for example, we have this one, which is great, the reframe structure, copywriting isn't about clever wordplay, it's about understanding psychological triggers. Most people focus on pretty sentences, few people in general desire at the subconscious level. The masters know, words don't sell products, properly triggered emotions do. So yeah, that's a very strong tweet. And as you can see, we have seven different tweets using different templates with different angle based on the source material based from my newsletter and using my own writing styles. Of course, now what I can do is I can create even more tweets from this newsletter. I can tag other documents to add new templates. So for example, I can add the June 2024 template and I can uh, ask him to write seven more tweets using the June templates. And now the AI will just do that. Or I can even take another newsletter that I've written and ask it to write new tweets using the content from the other newsletter. So let's wait for the AI to answer. And here, as you can see, I have seven more tweets I can use and refine. And let's do a last example with one of my previous newsletters. So I will just open my documents again. I will scroll past my newsletter archive and let's take maybe this uh, newsletter in the number one mistake every creator makes. So I will just tag it. So here it is. And now I will ask it to write seven new tweets using content from my newsletter. The number one mistake. And using the content templates. As you can see, I can just repeat this process indefinitely until I have enough tweets for a week. It's very, very fast and effective. As you can see, I have tweets following the content structure that I've given it and the content from my newsletter. So here, for example, creator success isn't about creating more content. It's about prioritizing revenue generating activities. It was, of course, the main big idea of this newsletter that I just gave it. Most people focus on more threads and videos. Few people focus on what actually makes money. Your patient dies without oxygen and in business, money is that oxygen. So pretty strong. So anyway, that was it for the example. Now let's go to step five, review and refine. Once Cloud generates the tweet, I will review them to make sure they accurately represent my ID and sound like me. So you can always ask Cloud to refine any tweet that don't quite hit the mark, or you can just copy paste them into a specific document and rewrite them with your own style and uh, change a bit the wording and stuff like that. And step six, schedule your content. So the final step is to schedule those tweets across the week. And what I do is that I use Typefully to space them out, but you could use any scheduling tool you prefer. And that's basically it. You can just repeat the process until you have a week's worth of Twitter content ready to go. And depending on how much you review and refine each tweet, it can really take up to 50 minutes to one hour maximum. So now let me address something important here because we're not just saving a lot of time with this system. We're actually improving quality in three key ways. First, by referencing your own content, you ensure that every tweet reflects your actual expertise and perspective and is not generic AI generated IDs. Second, by using prevent templates, you're leveraging structures that are designed to drive engagement on Twitter specifically. And third, by including a document with examples of your writing style, you're training the AI to mimic your authentic voice. And the result is content that genuinely sounds like you, promotes your best ideas, and is formatted optimally for the platform and for your growth. And this is worlds apart from generic AI content that sounds like everyone else. We're using AI as an amplifier for your unique voice and insights. And so now I want to be clear about something. 
I don't believe in automating 100% of your social media presence. And I use this system to maintain consistency and ensure my best ideas reach more people. But I still show up personally to engage with replies, participate in conversation and share spontaneous stuff. The key is finding the right balance between leveraging systems and maintaining authentic connection. And for me, that balance looks like using this system to create 70% of my Twitter content, while the remaining 30% comes from direct engagement and spontaneous sharing. This approach gives you the best of both worlds. Consistency without burnout and authenticity without constant pressure. So now, how to implement this system? If you want to implement this system yourself, I've made it even easier for you. I've created Noah's Hawk Bank, and inside you will find all my templates, prompts, and workflow, and everything you need to set up this system for yourself today and have an effective second brain system using Cortex for your creative business. And the prompt I've shown you in this video to write the tweets will also be included as well as the previous prompts from my previous videos with complete SOPs on different subjects and with all the prompts. So if you want to get access, just click the link in the description. And if you're not already using Cortex, I highly recommend checking it out. The link is in the description. The document referencing feature we use today is a game changer for content creation. You can use my link in the description to join Cortex Premium, which will allow you to use the full AI features that I showed you in this video, as well as get access to KDIP's excellent template collection in the Discord community. And if you want to see another in-depth use case on how to use Cortex AI to create content next faster, click on the video that is showing on the script right now. Thanks for watching and welcome back to the Hark. Bye.